Smog on tier changes for July. Let's take a look. Rises, we are up to OU. That was in the BL, so that's fair enough. I think it's very much usable in OU. Mew and Scissor, yep, completely understandable. Those are both good there. They move the stuff from RUBL up to UU, so Slowbro is getting ever closer to his brothers. The other two, yeah, I mean, they could have gone either way, in my opinion, but fair enough. Rhyperia and Zarud up to UU. Zarud, I completely understand. Rhyperia is one of those that I'd never felt like it was too good for the lower tiers, but obviously this is usage, so yeah, I mean, it's good in UU as well, so I understand it. Poltergeist finally gets some recognition, going up to Ayu, big ass threat, and Flygon, Flygon was incredibly annoying, down in NU. I saw a lot of defensive ones actually, so it's quite nice that that thing's now gone, don't have to worry about that anymore playing NU. Politoed up to Ayu, because obviously rain teams were very popular in Ayu with stuff like Barracuda, so that makes sense. You have Guzzlord, Heliolisk, Toxicroak, and Zatu up to NU. All very much well deserved, especially Heliolisk. You guys know I'm a big fan of the Lisk. But yeah, Guzzlord's actually the surprising one to me. I think a lot of people have started using that thing. Number one, because it's very good at breaking stuff with like banded knockoff, that sort of thing. Number two, it's a very good switch into Copper Raja because it's heavy, so you're not taking much from Heavy Slam, for example. El Bindito up to NU. Yep, seems fair to me. That thing is very annoying, so I'm happy to see it go up there. Frostlash, Sandslash, and I assume that's a valid ghost. Can't really tell from the picture, but I think those are all very reasonable rises. Obviously, you get spikes on these two, which are pretty threatening in any tier. And that thing, if it is Savali Ghost and not Savali Psychic, is obviously a very good spin blocker, so that's good stuff. But obviously, the things we're most interested in, folks, are the drops. So, Nida King down to UU. I'm actually surprised by that, to be honest. I thought it was still pretty popular in OU. I guess I'm wrong. I guess I don't know OU that well. Pelipper down. Again, pretty surprising. Reggie Alecki, I'm not that surprised about. I don't think it's that great. I think any kind of ground type, Volt Absorb, Grass type, whatever. It's a one trick pony, right? It's very good at that trick, but there are definitely ways around it. Ninetales is probably the one I'm most happy about because it's going to be fun messing around with that thing like an offensive set. Has a very nice speed tier. You know, nice offensive coverage there with the Fairy and Ice. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Quag back down to PU. That thing just bounces up and down constantly. But it's one of those Pokemon like Ditto where it can fit in pretty much any tier, to be honest, because of its ability and its nice bulk and defensive typing. I don't think it's too obnoxious down in PU. Like, you guys know me, I don't like stall, but Quagsire, there are ways around it. Like, any grass type, freeze dries on quite a few mons down there, toxic, there are ways of dealing with it. Arctazolt. And Sly Cooper, Articuno, down to PU. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I'm pretty sure Snow Warning is banned down here, which is, you know, why these crazy good hail threats are not necessarily so good down in the lower tiers. Articuno actually could be one of the bigger threats down here. This thing is very good if used correctly. I'm actually very happy about the Sand Slash as well. I don't really care about this thing, Arctivish, because it's terrible. But the Sand Slash, I think, will make a very nice spinner. The typing is obviously weird, because you're quad weak to fire and fighting, but... If you run... Maybe like an offensive set. Maybe... Boots or Assault Vest. With max speed, the Rapid Spin will put you above basically anything in the tier, speed-wise. Or most of the tier, let's say. And then you've got very nice offensive coverage with Ice, Ground, Steel. So I think it's going to make a very nice spinner. That's my thoughts on the tier changes, folks. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I look forward to trying out these new tiers, especially the lower ones such as RU and ZU. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon.